Hello beautiful internet family, Dan here from danstube.tv and today I'm bringing you the action camera showdown of the century. In one corner we have the Osmo Action, a newly released action camera from DJI. And then in the other corner we have the current heavyweight champion of the world, the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Throughout this video you will see a side-by-side -side comparison where you can get a really good understanding of what the image is like from both the Osmo Action and the GoPro in the exact same scene filming both 4K 30 frames per second. I will also have moments where I just utilize the Osmo Action or the GoPro to show you what the full blown up image looks like where it's not cropped with another camera. So you will really get a true essence or a true understanding of what you're gonna get from these cameras here. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Has GoPro been dethroned by the Osmo Action? I will also have two links in the description below to check these cameras out on Amazon if you are interested in picking them up. The GoPro is slightly more expensive, so just keep that in mind when you watch this video. But the Osmo Action is a genuine competitor to GoPro's high-end Hero 7 Black. I'd also like to give a massive shout out to Aussie Tech who helped out with this video and a lot of my other videos. He's got some great Osmo Action content on his channel, so check that out. I will have a link in the description below. Now moving on to the heavyweight battle of the century, the Osmo Action and the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Now as you can see from the footage so far, the stabilization is pretty great from both of them when it is a daytime scene. Now when it goes to the nighttime, also known as bedtime to some people, they both fall apart. It's almost like they're tired or something, but they just struggle. They don't let enough light in, I guess, because the sensors are so small and they really need light to account for all of these random movements that are going on when we're walking or running or jumping or whatever. And this electronic image stabilization really relies heavily on light. So you see both of them fall apart in the night shots, but through the day, they're both great and they compete pretty close by. They have great stabilization. They have beautiful images to them. The video quality is really nice. Um, I do notice that the Osmo Action has a slightly different look to the GoPro Hero 7 Black. The GoPro has more of a heavily saturated kind of color profile, but the Osmo Action is a bit more flat, I guess. Um, which is cool. It means that you're probably going to have a lot more to play around in post-production. But I think for me personally, I really like the image from the GoPro Hero 7 Black. So I think just as a default image that you can basically use straight away, the Hero 7 has that really nice color science to it, where the Osmo Action still has a really nice color science, but you might want to play around with it a little more in post-production to get those colors a little bit more fine-tuned and popping a little bit more. So I guess in terms of video quality, they both have a very solid high-end 4K video quality to them. They're both slightly unique in the way that they present their colors. And I think both of them with that infinity focus have a nice focal length because it's infinity focus. And I think the sharpness is pretty, pretty on point for both of them. They're both really nice cameras with great video, which is kind of what you expect from the units here. I would say that the GoPro at the moment has the better user experience. I think the Osmo Action is just as good, but the GoPro has gone through a few major updates. It also has a few features that the Osmo Action doesn't have, and the Osmo Action is in its infancy. There will definitely be some major updates coming very soon to this camera that will potentially match the Hero 7 Black. So overall, I think they're both very close by in terms of what they offer and how usable and reliable they are. But I really do love the front facing screen on the Osmo Action. It makes a major difference for framing the shot. Although I'm not too happy with the delay that you get from the front facing screen. For me personally, I think I'm slightly leaning more towards the GoPro Hero 7 for a, an overall winner at the moment. And that's probably just because I prefer the image and I slightly prefer the stabilization. But then the Osmo Action still potentially has a lot more growth. It has some more big updates coming out soon. And it does also have that selfie screen as an added benefit there. 
So the Osmo Action is a very close runner-up. I think I'm going to give it to the GoPro Hero 7 on this comparison here, though. I might revisit this in the future. Let me know if you would like that in the comments below. After a few Osmo Action updates, I could revisit this and maybe do another comparison. I prefer the stabilization and the footage from the GoPro throughout the day, although I think that the Osmo Action might have beat it in the nighttime footage, although they both fell apart with stabilization at night, so I can't really give it to either of them. But maybe the Osmo beat it out at night, and then the GoPro is the overall winner, in my opinion. But let me know in the comments, who who won? Who do you think won? Was it the 7 Black, or was it the Osmo Action? DJI's newest product, and their first action camera in the market. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to have a fantastic day. Subscribe for more content, and peace out.